completing the square, since this is review for all of you, uh, I'll give you the quick version. I've got the steps uh, up here. Like I said, there, there's one missing because we have a coefficient in front of the x term. First thing we want to do is uh, rearrange everything in descending order of the power of the variable. We want our x, we want our x squared term first, and then our x term, and then the number, set it equal to zero. Uh, uh, then, uh, we can do number, the second, next step here is put the, put the number on the other side of the equation. Let's leave a space and put the five over here. Now in this particular case, I could have just left it over there just to make the point. Uh, now, the step that's not in that list here is if you have a number in front of the x squared term, you have to get rid of that. And I mean, how about orange? Orange. Orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by 3 because oh. that's what's in front of the x squared term. So divide everything by 3, divide everything by 3, and what we have now, x we have x squared, yay, Minus one third x equals negative five thirds. Alright. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to take the coefficient of the x term. Uh, and I like to include the sign. So this right here, negative one third, uh, and I like to write it off to the side. I take that negative one third, and we need to either divide it by 2 or multiply by 1 half, whatever works better for you. Why is that in the next What? This is how you do it. So I'm going to multiply by 1 half. I'm going to multiply by 1 half. And then I'm going to square that. So what, is, what do I have inside the parentheses? Negative one sixth, and after I square that, what's that going to be? Negative one thirty-six. I'm squaring that to be positive one over thirty-six. This number here is what I'm going to add to both sides of the equation. With me so far? Yep. Now the whole point of doing that is so that I can then rewrite the left side of the equation as x something squared. What is it, that's, what is it that goes in there? It's right this right here. It's the coefficient of the x term times 1 half. That is what goes here, including the sign. So negative 1 sixth is what goes right here. x minus 1 sixth is what goes inside the parentheses there. And we could, if I multiply this out, we could get this. Right? Um, negative 1 6 x minus another 1 6 x would be negative 2 6 x, which reduces to one th negative 1 third x. And the negative 1 6 times negative 1 6 is positive 136. What do I have on the right? So what are the calculator? Or looking at the book? Plus negative 5 thirds plus 130, 1 is 36. That's a butterfly. Should be negative, right? That's a beautiful guy. Okay. Now, what's my next step? <laughs> Um, reduce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> the whole point of, of doing this is so that we can have something that has an x squared term and write it as something that includes an x squared so that we can take the square root and the square root cancels out this squared but I have just an x minus one six equals anytime you take the square root of both sides of the equation, remember always do plus or minus on the right. So we have equals plus or minus, and we have a negative in here. So that's going to be fifty nine over thirty six. The square root of fifty nine over thirty six i, which reduces to what? Radical still fifty nine. Okay. The square root of a quotient is the quotient of square root. Is, can I simplify the square root of 59? No. So square root of 59 stays square root of 59. Square root of 36 is 6. We still have the i up here. And we're going to move the x minus 1 6. We've got to move the 1 6 to the other side. It becomes a positive 1 6. And now we have solved for x. So that's completing the square, the short and sweet version. 
Schmath. Schmath.